Hi, Senator. This is Pamela Hi, Watson from Providence. I'm well. Senator Great. Clinton. Senator Clinton, you have to know there's a lot of excitement in Rhode Island today. We are not used to playing such a prominent role in the electoral process. Uh, I want to ask you about our exclusive WPRI 12 RI Politics Doc TV poll. It shows you nine points ahead of Senator Obama in Rhode Island, but 11% undecided. What do you make of that? Well, I think people in Rhode Island are taking this decision very seriously, and uh, obviously, I'm you know very hopeful to do well in Rhode Island. I've come to Rhode Island many, many times. I have so many friends there. I'm proud to have been endorsed by Senator Whitehouse and uh, Congressman Langevin and so many others. And I think it's because people know that uh, you know a lot of the issues that are on the minds of Rhode Islanders, like health care, making it affordable and available, the rising cost of gas, which is going to really hit people uh, hard, you know, getting the economy to make sure it produces the good jobs that people in the state deserve, uh, and, uh, you know, all the questions about ending the war in Iraq the right way, getting it uh, uh, done in an honorable and expeditious manner, and then winning the war in Afghanistan are ones that I'm prepared and ready uh, to step in and handle on day one. So I'm hoping that people will be coming out to vote in large numbers in Rhode Island today. Well, you've kept your sense of humor about you, and you have joked about this, but it's been noted that political pundits and commentators and comics have been a lot tougher on you than they've been on your <laughs> opponent. That has got to sting on a personal level. How do you deal with that? Well, I think um, when you're running for the toughest job in the world, you have to have a pretty thick skin, which I've developed over years, uh, because after all, uh, being president, uh, you take a lot of incoming fire all the time, but that goes with the territory. Uh, I think that it's part of uh, running for president to be subjected to, uh, you know, those hard questions. Uh, but what I want the people of Rhode Island to know is that, you know, I get up every day thinking about what I'm going to do to improve the lives of the people of America. Um, you know, you don't take criticism personally, you just uh, keep going, because obviously uh, what's important is what we're going to do together. Uh, I think I'm a fighter and a doer and a champion. Uh, I think I have a track record that proves that. I've already been creating change. You know, children in Rhode Island have health care because I helped to create the Children's Health Insurance Program. And I want you to put me to work. I want you to hire me for the hardest job in the world, and I will work my heart out for you. You are in the fight of your political life. Are you going forward tonight, come what may? Well, let's wait and have the people vote. And uh, obviously, I hope that we have a record turnout in Rhode Island. Uh, and, you know, there are differences in this campaign. I have a health care plan that would cover everyone with affordable health care. Senator Obama doesn't. I have a plan to stop the home foreclosure crisis. Senator Obama doesn't. I've put forth a very specific uh, set of policies on everything from how we would actually get out of Iraq uh, to how we would make sure that uh, we deal with uh, trade policies and uh, energy policies and make college affordable. Um, I've put forth very specific solutions because I want you to hold me accountable. Uh, I don't want you just to listen to the speeches. I want you to say, okay, when the cameras are gone and the lights are out, what are you actually going to do for me and my family? Uh, and I'm looking for the opportunity to help serve you. And families here, you mentioned gas prices, gas and groceries, two big things in Rhode Island. What are you going to do that your opponent cannot? Well, I know that uh, gas prices are going up because we have no energy policy. Uh, they're going up because uh, we don't have a president who will either uh, conduct an investigation to find out whether the prices are being manipulated uh, or uh, be firm with the oil-producing uh, countries uh, that uh, have to know that America is serious about getting these prices down. You know, I'm not interested in holding hands with the Saudis. I'm interested in holding them accountable. Uh, so I would have investigations to figure out whether there's manipulation uh, in the market. I would go forward with a very aggressive plan to try to lessen our dependence on foreign oil, and I would stick with it, because I predict that uh, were I president and said this is what we're going to do, the oil-producing countries would drop the price to try to, uh, you know, lull us into a false sense of security. I would release oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which would drive the price down on the world market. I'm prepared to act because I know how much people are hurting. And of course, the rising cost of food is directly related to the increased cost of uh, transportation, which obviously is connected to the increased cost of gas. We need a president who will tackle this. I'm aware that uh, nothing's going to happen until the two oil men leave the White House, but once they do, 
uh, I will be ready to act for you. Senator Hillary Clinton, thank you for joining us on this historic day. Thank you so much.